Hello friends, in this video I am just going to explain how to uninstall SDK platform tools or SDK build in your Android studio. So we can uninstall from SDK manager. For example, on this Android studio, you can see this install build tools revision 31 is corrected. Remove and install again using the SDK manager. So I am going to remove the existing one and going to reinstall it. So for that right on your Android Studio, open this SDK Manager. So right side it is there, SDK Manager. So open it. These are the EP I have installed it and SDK Tools. So for example, on SDK Tools, right, if you want to uninstall this Android SDK Build Tools, you need to uncheck it. Just uncheck it and click on Apply. The following components will be deleted. So this is the process of uninstallation or deleting the SDK build tools. So I'm going to give OK. So packages to uninstall. See this all information. So click on finish and then click on apply. So going back to SDK platforms and SDK tools. Now it should not be there and the status should be changed as not installed. So same thing I'm going to do for SDK platforms. So Android API 31, I'm going to uninstall it, selecting it and uncheck the box. And here, right, we need to click on this Apply. The following components will be deleted. So giving OK. So packages to uninstall. Okay. Now the SDK platform is uninstalled. It is asking me to restart now because we should restart. Android SDK platform 31 is currently in use by Android Studio and cannot be updated. So it's restarted successfully. I'm going to verify clicking this SDK manager. So here, right, successfully removed. The status is not installed. So you can reinstall it on this Android SDK build tools and SDK platforms. So I'm going to click on this. I mean, I need to check this box and that AP31 and click on apply. Then automatically it will be installed. You can uninstall when you have a problem with your SDK tools. I mean, you can reinstall it and then going to SDK tools and I'm going to install this as well. Apply. The following components will be installed. Giving OK. So that's it successfully installed. Now you can use SDK tools without any problems. So that's it friends. Hope this video is very much helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please put your comments and feedbacks in my video forms. Thank you. Bye friends and take care.